Hi, this is Jeff, and in this screencast, I want to talk about the Give Your Quiz Results Slides a Makeover weekly challenge in the eLearning Heroes forum. David Anderson posted a brilliant weekly challenge um, stating that the quiz results slides are often the most neglected slides, and I, I'd even say that the most forgotten slides even. Um, and he gave some great examples on how you can really redo them um, based on, on stuff you see in infographics. So he's got an infographic here and he's got an, an image of his default uh, slide uh, and then how he made, how, how he did a makeover on it based on the, the, the infographic style with large percentages and, and means like that. So it was a really tough challenge because when I started out, I thought, well, I'm not going to have a decent entry this week. And uh, I mulled it over a couple of nights and uh, and I thought, wait a second, David said, look for inspiration in infographics. So I went to Google and uh, basically infographics are really the new thing. If, if, you're, if you're out of design ideas, just Google your topic with uh, uh, infographics behind it and you'll find a ton of good stuff. So I thought, well, let's do something on nursing. So I typed nursing infographics, and one of the cool things that I saw is there was a Pinterest uh, site as well. So I clicked that, and boom, a ton of nursing infographics, and you can just see all the you know, possibilities appearing before you. You can go so many ways. You see some really cool color schemes, a uh, way to, to really visualize items. And I was scrolling down through these th through these infographics and I thought, well, there's so much you can do. I like this, I like how they do that. And you know, here's a really great example on, on an office. And uh, so a lot of cool stuff when you when you're looking for uh infographics and if you can find a Pinterest page for it, then it becomes, you know, fantastic. And all of a sudden I noticed this one. Uh, for a certified nursing assistant. So I clicked on it and uh, no scrolling down. I thought, I like these characters. This is pretty cool, but it's still you know, very similar to what David's doing. And I wanted to do something different. And then I thought, wait a second, I saw something up there. This is it. This is my congratulations, you've passed. And I started recreating it in PowerPoint to see how that looked. So basically what I did, I copied and pasted that thing and I, and I blew it up really big so I could take a close look at it. And so, well, there's, there's just you no know, slight lines in the, in the background at an angle. It was pretty cool. Um, and I just started deconstructing this picture and wound up with this. And what I did, and it was really simple. If you take a look at this, it's just, you know, Two text boxes, congratulations, you passed. And I've got my uh, additional text here. And then I started playing around with it. So I gave the background a, uh, a formatting. And there are patterns here in, in, uh, in PowerPoint. And I've <laughs> never used them before because I thought, well, this is really you know, going back to the 1980s. But you know, I thought, well, I'm going to try that and change the colors. And I, I got this background. Then I just dropped in a shape to create the floor and uh, a rectangle here with a with a border and you, you could just see it coming to life. And then I thought, well, I can redraw the complete characters, but I thought, wait a second, if I go to the Articulate tab, I've got these characters and I can insert my uh, illustrated characters. And if I do, I can scroll down and voila, nurses, doctors, cool, I'm going to use these. So that's what I did. Uh, and because you can give them all these cool poses and set them sideways, uh, I basically recreated this picture with the articulate characters. And to give them the shadow that I like, because I really thought that was a cool element, I just added a, a, a circle below it. And the same thing for this character. Now. Then I start, thought, saw the bed and I thought, well, I'm going to recreate that. And basically, it's just a circle here 
a white circle with a, a, a black line. This is just a gray line and here another gray line right here. A rectangle shape and another rectangle shape. So voila, there's my bed, right? And of course the little uh, circle around the wheel uh, to get that shade effect. Now, then I started adding this little text here. Um, and I was playing around with the, the poses for the characters. And I first had the doctor uh, in, a, in a happy kind of pose. And I thought, it's a bit of bland. It's missing something because it was all the blue stuff. And then I saw this uh, uh, doctor with the files. And it also gave me a, an additional color that I could uh, reuse in, in actual, the actual buttons. So that's how easy it, it became to put this together. Uh, after I googled for nursing infographic, uh, I put this together in like within 20 minutes. So it was super easy to do and uh, gave a great result. So think about that when you're designing your course or your quiz or whatever. Check out infographics on the topic you're using and, and see how that can help you. Hope you like this screencast. Bye bye.